in this video physics we'll be looking at the moment or the force or we call it the turning effect now the moment or the force is just the turning effect effect of the force So it's a turning effect of the force at the point of application known as a pivot. So there's a point where something has to turn. For example, if I say this is wood and someone is squeezing it up, like placing it down, and this is hinged here, it's going to turn at this point, down, like that, going downward. So this is what we call the pivot. Now. Moment is equal to force times distance. Now this distance is perpendicular. If I have a force like this, sorry, a, a block, and there's a pivot, the distance that I need is this. And let's say there's a block here put there. The weight of the block is here. So you can see that the weight and the distance they are perpendicular to each other. They are like this. Distance going this direction, while weight is going this direction. Hence, they are forming a 90 degree angle or a right angled angle. Therefore, that's the distance that you get. It's not like work done. Let's look at an example. Let's look at this, this example. We have a distance of this, let's call it a box of weight 20 newtons and the distance from A0 here up to where the pivot is. So you can see that you only get a distance up to there the pivot ends. It's two meters. Now distance should always be in meters. Force should be in newtons. And we say now we know that moment is equal to force times what? Distance. Our force is 20 newtons multiplied by the distance is two meters. And what we're going to have is 20 Newton meter. Sorry, 40, not 20, but 40. So take note of the unit. M many people they, they they like writing something like this. Which is wrong. Totally wrong. This means this divided by m. And in this case, where we, we, we are not divided but we are multiplying. So you just write meter, so newton meter. Let's look at this example. You have a hundred uniform meter loo and you have this box one here and box two here. Let me call this one and let me call this one two. This has got a force which we don't know the weight, but this box two has got a weight of 50 newtons. But the distance of this box one to the from the pivot is 20, and this one from the pivot is actually 30, so you can see there. So we want to find x. This is what we we'll call the principle of moment. It says that the sum of clockwise moments, sum of clockwise moments, clockwise moments, is equal to the sum of anti-clockwise moments. Anti-clockwise moments. So the moments go in this direction are equal to the moment going in this direction. Now here we have this one going this direction and this one is going this direction. So when I say moment, you know that it's force. So force one times distance one is equal to force two for box two and distance two for box two. Force one, we call it x because we don't have times. The distance one is 20. So say 20 meters is equal to force two. We have is 50, 50 newtons times Distance 2, we know that it's 30. So I can get rid of this here. So now we know that this is what we have. So we just formed an equation. So 20 times x, we have 20 meter x, which is equal to 50 times mm, 30, you get 1,500 newton meter. Now you divide both sides by 20 meter and here by 20 meter. 
So let me get rid of this. So we have need to cancel this side. Sorry. To cancel this side so that I can make the X for one thousand. by 20 we get 75 newtons now you can notice something here the smaller the distance the larger the weight see now? but the larger the distance the smaller the weight this come to a, to a conclusion that if you want to apply an effort on an object you must have a longer distance then your, your small effort will be applied. But if you have a small distance, you apply more effort. So thank you so much for watching.